Okay, welcome back. We are now going to start configuring some of the gadgets within your blogger template. First, let's begin with the top tabs piece, which you can find right here. Uh, if we flip back over to the actual blog, you can see that right here there's nothing currently there and what we're going to do is fill in those spots so these tabs will automatically appear. Now these tabs can be anything that you want and by default the home tab automatically appears. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this top tabs uh, gadget and what's going to appear is a link list and from here we're going to set up the top tabs. You can keep the title the same, it actually is not going to show up on the site and what we're going to do is start setting up some uh, links. So let's uh, create one that points to Blogger and I'm just going to type in Blogger, add link. Let's do another one. Let's point to our favorite blog template site called eBlog Templates as you're all very well aware of and we'll call this Blog Templates add that link and we'll add one more called photos and I'm just gonna send it to photos.com now of course you can reorganize these or use whatever uh, links that you want and this is just for demonstration purposes I'm just using these three so you're gonna go ahead and save this link list which reflects here that it's been saved now I'll click back over to the revolution blog and refresh and magically you'll see these tabs appear. So we basically just set these up in a matter of seconds virtually um, to create your own tabs across the top. Now these again can point anywhere to any sites uh, to different pages on your blogger. Uh, it's all up to you. Okay, secondly, let's go and configure the AdSense unit. Now this is really cool. This is a very strategically placed link list of AdSense ads that appears right under here, which we'll, we'll see as soon as we set it up. Now if you don't already have an AdSense account, uh, you can easily set one up as well. Uh, Google AdSense is uh, what it is, and it's basically advertising on your site. It, it automatically displays text ads, or sometimes even image ads, that uh, matches the content on your site so they're very targeted and the best part is you get paid when people click on those ads so I encourage you to get an AdSense account set up if you don't have one already and then once you do come back to this this step and uh, we can set up AdSense here so assuming you've already had an AdSense account set up we're gonna click and edit this gadget and now it's asking the format we want to set for this specific gadget and since it's the top bar, we want to have the five link units set up, and it's going to be the 728 by 15 horizontal row. And now what we need to do is set up the color scheme for this. So with the border, we want it to be 666666. Same with the background. And the text, we're going to use an A91B33, which gives us a nice cherry red and we're going to use the same for the title uh, excuse me, scratch that for the title we're actually going to use six F's F -F 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 -F. and the URL we can keep uh, switched to F -F 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 as well go ahead and save that okay that has now been configured so if you go back to your blog refresh it again and you will see voila AdSense appears magically right below here and the reason I was able to do it so quickly was because I already had an AdSense account um, again if you don't have an account you need to set one up first which takes not very much time at all um, and then once you have it set up it's easy just to implement throughout the rest of your blog so now we've set up two gadgets and we can move on to the next one. Now the next widget or gadget I'm going to show you is the featured video and it's a very uh, popular thing to have on blogs these days but honestly not everybody likes videos so it's basically this gadget right here and if you don't have a video that you want to place here it's just easy to delete the specific gadget so you can just edit and remove it 
But in this case, I'm going to show you how to change the video that comes with it. So by default, you get this sample video that's basically being pulled in from YouTube. So what we're going to do is go back to the template, edit the featured videos gadget, and you're going to be presented with a blank content box. And this is where you need to actually go to YouTube and paste in the embed code. And I'll quickly show you how to do that. So I've opened another tab pointing to uh, YouTube. And what we're going to do is just grab this uh, video. And what you do is go up to the right here where it's embed. And you're going to highlight this, right click, copy. And then you go back to your blogger. And you're going to actually paste that in there. Okay, now that we've pasted it in there, we need to make one small change before we can actually save this gadget. And what we're going to do is change the actual width and height of this gadget because it's a little too big uh, for the space that we've allocated. So what we need to do is change the width to 300 and the height to 250. And there's two spots within this code you actually need to make the change, so make sure you get both of them. Down below 300 and then the height, 250. So if you go ahead and save that now, and go back to your blog, and you hit refresh, what you're now going to see is the new featured video that we just pasted the code in from YouTube. How cool is that? Very easy to swap out any video that you like and put in a new one just like that using a gadget. Okay, now that we've got the video gadget set up, we're going to move down the line and we are now going to change the sponsored ads here. And these are very, very common now in blogs. You'll see them all over the place. These are 125 by 125. Uh, they call them buttons. And uh, they're great because they fit in nicely with this design. And you can actually uh, make some money sending people to other sites via affiliates or referrals. Uh, and what I'm going to do is show you how to change these. The defaults that are here uh, are fine if you want to keep them or if you want to delete this entire gadget, that's fine as well. That's really up to you. Um, there's another option as well. Instead of having these four buttons here, you can actually put an AdSense block, uh, which is what we set up earlier, but this is going to be a different dimension uh, for AdSense, which is more uh, uh, contextual versus the uh, specific affiliate images that you're going to use here. So with that being said, what we're going to do is set up the 125 by 125 sponsors section. And what you need to do is go back to your blogger layout, click on the edit sponsors. And you'll notice this is just a HTML slash JavaScript um, gadget. And it comes defaulted blank. And all you need to do is paste in the new button codes that you want. So what I'm going to do is just go to the eBlog Templates Affiliate Program, which is uh, actually not officially launched yet, but will be shortly. And what we're going to do is grab the banner ads here. And see, there's the 125 by 125. We're going to take the code that's provided, right-click, copy, and go back and paste it into the box here. Now, we just copied and pasted one banner ad. I'm going to put in three more of the same ones just for this demonstration. Two, three, four. Go ahead and save that. And then if you go back to your blog, refresh. Wow, look at that. Magically, you have four new 125 by 125 sponsored links, uh, banners, that are very, very easy to add. You don't have to mess with the template code at all. It's automatically aligned. Beautiful. So one other thing I forgot to mention as well is right now we currently have four uh, add buttons here. But you could put as many as you like or as few as you like. I would recommend using a minimum of two, though, so they sit side by side. But I've seen some sites that have more than two and up to even six to eight, which is definitely fine if you have that many buttons you'd like to put in here. But that's just the power and flexibility that this template provides. This is all gadget-based, and you can easily change those sponsors.